So far on the project, we have used transfer techniques to show how we can transfer an image. We've used watercolour and layering techniques. We've used oil pastels, again transferring an image using different resources and soft pastels. Hello and welcome back and thank you for joining my art lesson. Today we're going to move forward with the use of soft pastels. Now this is lesson four or video four and it doesn't really matter whether it's lesson six or how long it is you take to do each of the sessions that I put forward. It doesn't matter whether you pause or you fast forward as long as you get some learning and engagement through the work that I do with you. So as I've said, pastels, oil pastels last week and beautiful soft pastels this week. You need to be careful with soft pastels. Soft pastels can be even more messy than the oil pastels. And we have a range of block pastel blocks here. Now you might have pastels in a pencil, but these ones are the, are the old fashioned ways of using them. So I don't mind which sort of pastels you use. What would be helpful as well with pastels is a form of fix-it. This is a fixative that I use. You can get different forms of fixative that you spray on your pastels in order to stop them from rubbing off. Okay, so we're going to move forward and we're going to use the image that we've used throughout the whole of the sessions and redo that with the pastels and I will take you through how we use the blending tool as well. Any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below.
how did you find that? A very messy job indeed. Pastels, soft pastels are possibly the messiest pastels in the whole of the resources to do with art and design. Um, you can either love or hate the results as well. It's a very, very um, delicate result. For me, I tend to use them quite hard. Um, and I do use the blender quite a lot. As you know, I don't like using my fingers because it makes it very dirty because your hands already get dirty. And halfway through the process, I do use fixative. At the moment, I'm using hairspray as a fixative because it's, it, it's important to seal it as you're putting the layers in. So um, you do have to get rid of some of the, uh, the, the surface of the chalk because the chalk can build up. So be careful when doing that. Um, like I say, it's again, when you're building up the, the layers, it's very difficult to get so much tone, especially with this particular image, because this particular image, the, a lot of the sweets do look quite flat. But again, it's all about um, using the different mediums, using the different resources, and that's the experience we want. We want to see how you use them. Okay, so that's today's lesson. Um, the next video will be on the next stage of the resources which we're looking at collage so what we're going to also do next week is revisit the research try and look at a few other artists as well so I'm going to be bringing some of the artists influence into the equation so that we come to do the, the collage piece you'll have other ideas so I'll pop some ideas at the end of this video for you to think about for when we do our collage together Another thing that you're going to need to do as well for collage is gather resources. So it's important that you start to gather lots of different resources. And if you remember the images that I showed you at the very beginning of the project, you can produce whatever type of collage you want with sweet wrappers, with newsprint, even with textiles if you wish. So the idea is we need an image that you're going to collage and use the sweets, glorious sweets resources and even bits like what we've already got here you can use that to collage the work that we're going to do next week so enjoy your pastels you're going to get messy and I'll see you next week thank you very much, bye now for the next session we're going to collage so you need to find yourself an image be that an animal, a person or an object and the image you're going to collage the image you're going to collage with different types of paper to gather newspaper or magazine cuttings and of course sweet wrappers i want you to be inspired by other artists here is peter blake famous for doing the beatles album covers a pop artist also maybe richard hamilton who's also famous for doing lots of different types of collages his collages create an almost picture in themselves, a story, something to put together using lots of different types of paper. You can also work over the top of collage papers. Here we have lots of different drawings over the top of images. So think of the object, think of the thing that you want to draw. I personally like landscapes.